Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anindo, working as a technical recruiter and today finally I'm releasing the video that you guys are all waiting for and that is full stack web development using the React framework. So as you can see in the title over here, today we're gonna clone the complete Instagram app starting from the front end till the back end. So this is a $100 Udemy course that I'm uploading for you guys completely free of course so that each and every one of you can learn full stack development for free and easily. So without wasting much time, let's get started with this video. But do remember, though I'm uploading this video for free, but in return, I will be asking one thing and that is do like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an update from my side and you're always ready for your next interview. So let's get started with the introduction part of this video. So over here, we will be disclosing the way we will be completing the project and also the set of files that you need to have for developing this project. So without wasting much time, let's get started with this amazing video tutorial series on Instagram cloning. And I promise you, after the end of this video, you can proudly say that you are a full stack developer. Because over here, I have covered each and everything that you need to know, starting from implementing the front end till the back end. And over here at the end of this video, I will also tell you how to deploy a full stack web application to a cloud environment. So let's get started with this amazing video on Instagram cloning. For the benefit of you guys, I have divided this entire course into four main video. One is the introduction and setup where I will be giving you a complete knowledge of what I will be covering in this video and I will cover the minimal amount of setup that you need to have for cloning the Instagram app. In our second video, I will be designing the complete front end using the React framework where we will be cloning each and every item over there and we will be slowly progressing to reach our final goal. In our third video, we will be completely focusing on our backend REST API where we will be creating our data REST API using the Spring Boot framework. And in our last and in our final video, that is the fourth part of this video, over there, we will be integrating the front end with our back end part of the application. And over there also, we will be integrating with the Google Firebase application. Because over there, using the Firebase application, we will be establishing the authentication mechanism. As well as, we will be using the Firebase storage for uploading our Instagram photos and images. So let's get started with the first video that is the introduction and the setup. So over here the minimum setup that is required is you have to install the Node.js into your machine for implementing the UI app. You have to install the MySQL database for creating our backend application that we will be required in the third part of our video. And the last two things that you need to have is the Firebase account and the Cloud Server account. So over there, in our fourth video, using the Firebase application, we will be implementing the authentication system as well as we will be using the cloud storage. And at the last, using the cloud server, that is using Heroku app, we will be deploying our front-end as well as back-end application into the cloud. So let's start with the setup process into your machine. So if you already have this setup into your machine, you can skip the video from here and you can move to the next part of our video. That is the part 2 of this video tutorial series. But if you do not have any one of this application into your machine, do not worry, I will be guiding you slowly and I will be giving you all the necessary links and videos that is necessary for you to install this app. So let's start with installing the Node.js into your machine. So to install the Node.js into your machine, you have to go to Google and type install npm. And over here, we will be going to the first URL that is npmjs.com. And over here, you will find the download link for the Node.js. So you need to click this download npm from here. And from this download URL, you have to download the current or the latest version available at this point. So right now when I'm recording this video, I have the latest version as 15.8. So depending on the version available and the machine you are using, whether it is Mac or Windows, you have to install that corresponding Node.js into your machine. So just click on this downloadable link and the respecting Node.js will get downloaded into your machine. And once it gets downloaded, you just need to double click and install it in your machine. So I already have Node into my machine, so I will skip this installation part over here. But you can proceed with the installation. So let's move to the next part that is installing the MySQL database into your machine, which we will be needed in the third part of our video. But let's do the installation first over here. But if you want to do that later, you can feel free to do so. 
but over here let's install the mysql database right now so what you have to do you just need to go to google and type mysql database so over here you have to go to the first link that is the mysql.com and here you will find the downloadable link for the mysql database and over here at the end of this page you will get the downloadable link for the mysql so installing the mysql is a easy 2 to 3 minutes of job which i believe you can easily do it at your home but if you face any issue while installing the mysql db i will be providing the help video in the description below feel free to go through that video if you are facing any issue while installing the mysql db into your machine so let's move to the next part that is opening a google firebase account so we will go to the google firebase and over here you just need to create an account over here So opening an account in the Firebase application you need a Gmail account. So over here you can see I'm logged in using a Gmail account over here. So over here you just need to click get started and you need to click create a project. So over here you just need to give your project name. So let's give it as Instaclone and let's accept the Firebase terms and condition and click on continue. So over here you can see it's asking that whether you need to integrate the other services of Google or not. So I will disable it as of now and click on create project. So this will take a couple of minutes. And that's it. We are done with creating an account on the Firebase application. So let's click on continue and over here we are in the Firebase console. So this is the minimum thing that you need to have before starting the project. So let's move to the next module. Now the last and the final account that you have to create is a cloud platform account. For that we will be going to the heroku.com and over here we have to open a free account for the cloud deployment. So we will click on sign up for free account and over here we have to provide all the necessary details that is required to create an account over here. And over here in the drop down you have to select Java as one of your language. and let's click on create free account so over here it will ask for verifying your email account so once you accept the activation link and set your password you are ready to use the heroku application so let's click on proceed and thus we are done with creating an account on heroku.com so these are the minimum number of software that is required for creating our instagram clone app so we are done with installing all of our software that are necessary let's now start with our implementation see you on the next video